everybody, it's Slash and DC here, and I'm playing Vulture for Net Hat once again. With my mirror, my gentleman, Nimcraft. Hello, Nim. Hello, Slash. Let's load up that ninja. Oh, please do. <laughs> <laughs> the unluckiest man in the world. Yeah. Poor guy. It says Konnichiwa, Melville, the human samurai. Welcome back to NetHack. I am a experience level 10 on dungeon level 11. Strength 25, dexterity 16, and 94 hit points. And I believe, in between episodes, I looked this up, and uh, this is the bottom right here. I was looking for the staircase down from here, and I don't believe one exists, but there are more secret doors that I haven't opened, so I'm going to go find those. I think, um, look at that map again. Yeah, I think there's one over here. Excuse me, guys. Coming through. And if I don't find... Yeah, there it is. There's a gray stone, two red gems. The gray yeah. stone's not a lodestone. There's your luck stone. You think? Uh, I don't know. I'm not certain. Just quit. <laughs> Could just quit. Yeah, and just, I'm you not, know, ascend right not, now. Not going to quit. You're done. <laughs> there should be three more hidden rooms. I'm going to check <laughs> them out. <laughs> I mean, that is what I came to the mines for, was the lodestone. Oh! See, I told you to quit. Now you've got a dust vortex. I wish I had a unicorn horn. Be careful with that. Unicorns can be bad. Not finding a hidden door over here. There's probably one here. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, mimic. And just some gems. There should be maybe one over here. And I think I noticed that I thought there would be one here, and there is, according to the wiki. A little harder to find, I guess. Well, you've got a pickaxe. Why don't you just pickaxe it? That wall is undiggable. And no, so there's definitely not a door there. <clears throat> um, let me try right here. So maybe there's just not a hidden door there. Well, I would put good money on the fact that rock you found is, in fact, your luck stone. Yeah, I'm going to look for one more hidden door and then I'm getting out of the mines. Uh, I was thinking that... There may be one on the other side of this teleport trap. But there's not. Okay. And I was thinking there might be one up here. But there's not. All right, well, there are definitely not as many hidden doors that I'm finding that I saw on the map on the wiki. I found this one, this one, I thought there was one more here. Um, that looks suspicious right there, actually. Oh, no, that's another one that I found. And then I haven't found one over here. I'm thinking there's one over here. Give her eating centaur. They're pretty good. You know, I could eat that centaur. A lot of food there. So, if there's a door, you'd find it if you were digging? Yeah, yes. I like that. So, if you didn't see it, but it's there, then you can uh, crash through it, basically.
Yeah, that's the only gray stone that I found, but um, so I'm guessing that's the guaranteed luck stone, almost definitely. Let's get out of the mines. Yeah, you should go up back up to the altar and sacrifice some more, make sure your luck is good and your god is happy. Buy up some, all the cheap stuff. And, uh... Give me a bunch of, uh... Hello, Red Nega. Goodbye, Red Nega. <laughs> Buy up all the cheap scrolls. Yeah. Get ready to go on a blanking campaign. By the way, someone may or may not have mentioned you on the Steam forums for Vulture. Oh, was it in a somewhat positive light or not? Well, you know, it was like on this whole yet another stupid death thing, and people were talking about how they may have died by eating things. <laughs> And somebody, I don't even know who would do this slash, but somebody may have posted that you have died choking on a rape corpse. Oh, somebody told on me. Yeah, I thought it was rude, but, you know, what are you going to do? I can eat a winter wolf, right? I don't know why not. <clears throat> Another thing that it did occur to me is the possibility of getting crowned. Now yeah, that I have you my should. You should stone. definitely get crowned. Crazy freaking. Look, I love you. Yeah. And uh, I, I hope nothing but the best for you. Right. You should certainly get crowned. Okay. Well, thanks for that encouragement. No problem. I got sick a little in my mouth, but I'm glad I said it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because, let's see, the... Uh, the requirements for being crowned, you do have to have a great deal of, you know, pot, you stridently aligned. So that's your, you know, I haven't done anything to uh, to break your alignment, which I think I'm good there. Um, maybe not, though, because I did stab that fleeing Roth in the back, but uh, you also need to have a great deal of luck and be sort of a certain level. I think they do recommend being experienced level, what, five or higher? Am I making that up? That's something to just occurred to me. I don't know. But anyway, uh, <laughs> what do we got here? Is that it door? does lower your prayer timeout. It lowers your prayer timeout. So you want to have a good amount of food on hand and not expect to pray and get healed. Yeah. I think I've got both of those things covered. Ochre jelly. Is, that, is it Yumi time? Probably. I mean, I've been crowned several times as a monk. But that's mostly because I like to sacrifice things. Yeah, so I think I'll go. I've got a wand of create monsters, so I should be able to create some monsters, go in there and do some sacrificing. Yeah, because it'll give you cold, fire, poison, sleep, shock, resistance, and it'll make you be able to see invisible. And it should give you Excalibur, because you're lawful. And that's what you really need, is another weapon. Right. I don't really need another weapon. I'm pretty set on weapons. So, yeah, getting Excalibur, I mean, that to me is like just getting my score up. You know? Yeah. Pretty much. Um... I don't think I can dual wield Excalibur and Frostbrand, which would be pretty cool. So, and there we go. Luckstone acquired, I believe, and uh, escaped with my life. So, no, didn't even really have any close calls except for that Warg, <clears throat> Warg army, which wasn't that close of a call. I was afraid I was going to encounter an invisible titan again. That's what happened on my uh, my best wizard run I ever had. I was in Mine Town and I had an invisible titan cursing all my stuff. So you, it doesn't matter what level you are. You just have to be extremely lucky. 
Okay. I wish I had a way to figure that out. You know, a nice wand of knowledge would be great. Wand of enlightenment. Enlightenment, yeah. I don't have that much gold. You really don't. I usually come out of Nomish mines with thousands of gold. Yeah, where was all the gold? Maybe I'm going to go back and review the tape and realize that I left it all laying on the ground or something. <clears throat> but uh, the only reason I was worried about it, I wanted to get this uh, extra food ration and don't really care what the scroll is. So I'm willing to pay for it so I can blank it. And the wand, what's that leave me? 95. The wand is an unidentified wand, but I'm not likely to be able to afford it or the amulet at this time. Right. So I think I'm going to buy some, whoa, buy some candles just in case I make it into the late game where I'm actually using the uh, uh, invocation ritual. You're going to buy them now? I mean, I might as well. You know how terrible it would be to be all the way down in Gehenna on dungeon level 40 and say, I wish I had some candles. <laughs> I have to come all the way back up here and buy them. So I'm just going to get them. So there's uh, two candles for 30 Zork mitts. You know I'm not going to be able to afford them, I don't think. Yeah, it's that's a 15 problem. each and I need seven. How much is your... How much is that lamp? Is it magical? Nope. Nope. I've got a spell book I can sell, though. think yeah well that's a useless spell book huh 38 light <laughs> oh man I don't have anything else I want to sell yet I don't think so it's just gonna be what it is I'll come back and buy candles at a later time well if there's anything to sacrifice on the level you should sacrifice some stuff and pray yeah, does uh, and now sacrificing. I don't think that actually raises your luck. Yeah, but don't you want to make sure your god's happy with it's you? It's worth a try. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I got that wand right here. No, I don't. My, <laughs> maybe it's in my bag. Um, wands, 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 wands. There it is. Good old lichen. What god doesn't want a lichen corpse? Why do you do it in the hallway? Well, we were talking about if monsters oh, flee. Flee. Right. Four leaf clover. Does that mean my luck is maxed out or that my luck increased? I don't know. All right, well, strip naked and stay on the altar. I've got more charges. Yeah, but if it gives you a gift and you start back over again, don't you? Is that right? I don't know. That probably is true. So we're going to try getting crowned? Yeah, you got to drop everything you've got. Let's close this door. Yeah, because you're going to be naked. You don't want people looking at you. Got to take everything off. Boy, this is scary. Um, let's stand right next to the altar for this. Just, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I'll take everything off right here. <laughs> Make sure you take off your skill mount because it's not showing up there. There we go. Got it all off. And now I want to drop and auto-select every item. Make sure you're not wearing your skill mail. Okay. Nope. Okay. I'm carrying nothing. You begin praying to Amaterasu Omkimi. You are surrounded by a shimmering light. You finish your prayer. You feel that he is well pleased. You did not get crowned. I did not get crowned. Okay, well, we'll try that again at a later time, I guess.
Just lay all your stuff there. Why are you picking it back up? You don't need it. You know, it makes me nervous that you're starting <laughs> to wish against me here. <laughs> I'm not wishing against you. This is what they call in the South, praying again ya. Pray. You just made that up. Praying again ya. That's when people are praying for bad things to happen to you. That's not something we say in the South. We do. We do not. I lived in the no. South my whole life. I think I know what we say You're here. You're from Kansas. You don't know anything about the South. Well, my cloak of displacement is burnt. <clears throat> Why is it burnt? Oh. oh, from when you opened a box, you got flashed and burned your cloak. Okay. What you better sacrifice now. Yeah, because I've screwed up my prayer time out. Yeah. There we go. Get all this stuff put back together. Boom. All right. So now we'll uh, fix out my fix my prayer time out, hopefully. Can you offer a yellow mold? Uh, yeah. I think the only thing you can't sacrifice is a human. Right, okay. There's a shrieker there. If you're chaotic, if you're chaotic, can you sacrifice your own priest? <laughs> I don't think you can kill your priest safely uh, as any alignment. What do you get if you kill another priest and sacrifice him? Um, the if game. you're chaotic, it's good, right? I, I'm guessing that you just win right on the spot. <laughs> do not take that to the magic mystery vault. That is not true. <laughs> No, I can't sacrifice a zombie. Oh, Lord. Oh, man, you're strong. You just picked up a horse. Strength 25, man. Feeling, hopeful feeling. <laughs> I have my luck stone in my hand. I do, don't I? Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Chickatrice. Hey, don't turn the stone. No problem. Well, that's it for my wand. Out of charges. So I think we've done everything we can do here. Let's move on. I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna use the map because I want to kind of visually check for uh, scrolls as we go on. Hey, thanks for the good yonky, buddy. And if you were a completionist, you could. I could explore all of these, every nook and cranny, look for all the scrolls, all the pickups, everything, everything, everything. I'm just not feeling that. It seems like a lot of walking around I don't want to do, so. Like, I barely explored this level. I found the staircase right away. So, what's your next goal? Well, let's see. We've got to go down, find the entrance to Sokoban. Although I don't need the Amulet of Reflection from Sokoban because I wished for it. Yeah, but you still you would like to have a uh, Dagger Holding. 
bag of holding wouldn't be bad at all. Hello, Nymph. So next time, um, we'll go down to Zogobon. Uh, perhaps, perhaps, Zogobon. Perhaps we'll just um, proceed to look for the uh, to look for the uh, entrance to my quest. See if I can get leveled up for that. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Uh, hope you're enjoying the adventures of uh, Melville the Joshu. And now that he's experienced level ten, he got a new title. Nice. And, uh, hey, goodbye. We'll see you next time. Bye.